come here and they really enjoy having time to think, to talk to their partners and it's incredibly peaceful. It's just the environment that we live in with the birds and the ruins and the darkness and the no electricity and the no cars, it's incredibly peaceful. People come here and you just see them unwind and, and relax for those kind of people that like this kind of place. If you need shopping malls and cinemas, then it will drive you nuts because you wouldn't know what to do with yourself next. But for people who like themselves, they just melt here. It's beautiful to watch people come out of the city, out of that other world, and then come and they just relax. You can see their, their whole face unwinding. It's so beautiful. It's so nice just watching the sunset in the distance and having a beer, reading a book. Just sharing really outside under the stars. That's yeah. fantastic here. Yeah, um, there's some seafood. really good spots to eat in the ruins and down on the harbour. Okay. And the food is just really simple, but really, really, really tasty. They take you out on a boat and they set up a, a, a sun cover for you and a, a box full of drinks. You just go and sit there on this sandbank that's just totally isolated until the sea comes in. <laughs> and then uh, when you get on the boat and come back for lunch, so it's great. There's some really great diving here. I mean, there's lots of really fresh, uh, alive coral. It's beautiful, lots of small fish. You've seen some really big fish as well. And I've seen some really big fish. You know, just relaxed by the day. But it's great, I mean, I, I'd love this as a child. It's just like, really it's like fun, brings up the child in you, doesn't it? <laughs> it's true. It's really like, uh, That's a really cool room, this one with the swinging bed. They're all great, aren't they? They've all got something different and special about them. This one and number five over there are both really similar with this great sort of chill out area at the very top. Mm. Um, and number seven is really oh, nice because cool. of the, the uh, sun deck you've got with it as well, which is uh, really nice and you can look up the beach mm. and see the fishermen in the morning. Uh, number one's nice. They're all lovely for different yeah. reasons, really. I think it's the kind really of place amazing. you keep coming back because you want to stay in a different tree house each time you came here. I would like to encourage people to come to a place like this because we've tried very hard to make sure that this village benefits from what we do and the future prospects of the kids on this island change dramatically yeah, with the help of our guests. Most of the local people here depend on fishy and food crops. As you can see, most of the trees covered around are 40 trees and 40 trees. Before we had a lodge here, that means Cholemjin Hotel, the life was completely hard to the local people of Chole. They bring hospital here, so instead of the local people to go to mafia for their uh, sickness, they can get a service of hospital here on Chole. We've got off to a good start. Donors have helped us to build a kindergarten, a primary school, a hospital. Um, kids start school much earlier than they did before. They're checked once a month at the, at the clinic for free. They get fed a good meal at lunchtime. Um, and so when they go to primary school nowadays, they're actually well equipped. They're not anemic, they're not carrying parasites, and um, their development is, is visibly much faster.